Hey guys, it's Will, and I'm going to be showing you the very latest on Maze Quest 3. We're firing up this build right here. This is point zero four build five. <clears throat> and we, I mean, this has been, it's been a long time since I actually um, had a, a playable build. The game has been kind of in pieces. Um, as we've been patching in all the new graphics, the new maps, um, cleaning up some interface um, issues, and um, so here we are, and I wanted to show you, we've got uh, new starting character options. We've got basically the same um, six starting characters. We've got the warrior, cowboy, uh, healer, uh, brawler, scout, and ranger, but we've got multiple um, different like looking sprites for each. You know, you can be now male or female. Um, so yeah, so it's a, just you just have a little bit more options. All the the bra the character classes all have the same stats, and they start with generally the same equipment, but. Um, they are distinctly different. I'm going to start with a cowboy here. This is my favorite little sprite. Um, this cowboy character right here. Um, so just like all other versions, you can name your own character. Um, I'm going to name my character after one of my favorite Western movies, um, the new version with Mel Gibson. Um, what a great movie. It's actually sort of the inspiration for this game, uh, part partially. Um, inspired by movies like Maverick, um, inspired by video games like Shadowrun. Um, so here, here's the new starting town. This is Dodge City. Um, and you can you notice maybe if you've seen past um, uh, prototype builds, uh, you've seen this is this has been laid out differently. I've laid it out now in a line like this. Um, it used to be kind of like vertical um, or vertically oriented and I feel like this just is more simple and looks kind of cleaner for this um, this aspect ratio um, and this is uh, I'm playing this on an iPhone 7 um, and uh, so anyway here here's the town folk uh, they're they're gonna give you hints as to like what how to play the game basically and um, as you They'll they'll have also hints and stuff like that, um, but right now they they all they all have this general um, information uh, tree, that uh, dialogue tree. Um, so here's a here's a nun down here. Um, so basically, here's my guy here. I just swiped up on my character avatar on the screen and uh, brings up the player, uh, basically player panel down here is what we're calling it. And um, and then if you if I just hit my avatar here, I go into the player info screen where I have options um, to use spells. He doesn't have any. Um, equipment, here's his equipment list. Uh, you can see the he comes with some brass knuckles here. You hit the little um, little button, the question mark button, it'll tell you more about what you have equipped, uh, more about these items. Here's my leather vest, here's my cowboy boots, um, and I have two sh charm slots, which um, charms are wearable items, just like the last uh, few Maze Quest games. They're wearable items that increase stats or give you abilities um, that you might not have had before. So you can see in my backpack here, um, I come with med kits which heal health, uh, canteens which heal energy, and I've got five grenades here. Um, and I've got power potions. These are actually, these are, um, a power potion basically gives you a level up. Um, and, uh, and I'm stuck in that setting right now. Um, there we go. Um, power potions give you a level up. This is for testing purposes only. I'm not, I'm not meant to use these um, unless I need to test something to level my character up quickly. What I'm going to do in this playthrough is I'm actually going to try to play it through um, <clears throat> legit. Like so, I have five gold. Uh, I just started. My guy is level one. Uh, these are his starting stats and. Um, 
So you notice the he's a cowboy class character. Um, he comes with the throwing skill, which which is helpful um, with grenades. Um, if you don't have the throwing skill, you won't be able to throw a grenade far enough for it to not do damage to you. So just having the skill basically means that you can throw a grenade and um, it can get just a little bit past you to, to, to hurt some people. And grenades are the area effect weapon, um, uh, the cheapest sort of stock area effect weapon that you can get uh, starting out. <clears throat> and... Um, the more you, the more throwing skill you have, the farther you can throw grenades. Um, so let's get to it. Um, I'm gonna show you. This is the tavern. The tavern is where you're going to be able to hire hire NPCs um, and uh, get quests. Um, so here's here's a guy here. He's level four. Um, See, he's got no equipment on, which we may need to change that, but uh, Winebod here is a recruitable character. He's going to cost, um, well, he's, let's see, he's going to cost 400, so we do not have that. Um, <clears throat> so how do you get gold? Well, you can find it in chests. Um, you can, uh, you complete uh, quests for gold. Um, you can uh, get gold off of enemies. <clears throat> a way that I like to uh, a way that I like to get gold is to um, hunt animals and sell the meat in the general store. So here's a snake right here. Let's go ahead and get into battle. Here. I know these uh, all all these sprites are um, you know they look. They look pretty rough right now, um, and, but that's just what we have to deal with. Uh, I'm trying to um, just get the game put together and working right, and then we'll uh, we'll clean up these sprites. Yeah, they look pretty pretty wonky these snakes, but for all intents and purposes, they work. Punching a snake to death is uh, strangely satisfying. <clears throat> so here's a. So here we go. I get my first level up, and I get to choose. You can see the little five plus here next to each skill. I get to pick one that I can apply points to, and um, looks like we got blades. Um, I have the ability to learn blades, but you know what? I want. <clears throat> I want to pump my throwing skill because. I want to be able to um, chuck grenades at these guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so <clears throat> I'm also I'm gonna save, um, and I'm also writing down things that I need to change. Like I need to make a note to um, the players' names need to be in front. front of their health and energy because it's getting blocked right now <clears throat> so making a note of that um, I'm going to save a new game now we, we implemented something um, called autosave uh, for this for this game based on feedback from the last maze quest and um, that works really well um, but, uh, you know, it, it's, it's better to actually put a manual uh, save point in because you can actually pick. Um, so I'm going to save right there just uh, before I do anything crazy, before I, um, before I uh, find an enemy that, that's overmatched and they uh, knock me out. <clears throat> now, I've, I've nerfed all these enemies down here pretty well, so I shouldn't really have too much problems with them but let's try this guy over here and see what it's just a single single enemy these are red sash bandits if you um, notice their red sashes uh, I borrowed that from uh, Ma uh, from uh, tombstone okay so he's a cowboy he's got a pistol 
and I've got brass knuckles. Let's see what we can do. In fact, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hide back here. I know his pistol doesn't have that great a range. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him get closer to me. I'm using the defend button, which basically pumps my defense and um, and uh, this is me trying to throw a grenade, and I'm looking, I don't see a way to hit him yet, so we're just gonna wait. All right, now I should be able to hit him. Yeah, so if I throw here, you can see the spread effect on the grenade will, will hit him. There we go. Oh, and he's got a grenade too, okay. But I've got another grenade for you. Now the gloves came off. Um, one more should do it. There it is. All right, so we got a cowboy hat. All right, I can use that. Um, I know I can equip that. There we go, cover my head. All right. Okay, um, now I'm a little banged up here. I'm going to use a med kit. There we go. Now now we're back to back to 100% health. I'm gonna go ahead and go after this guy. And this looks like a brawler. Yeah, he's a brawler. So brawlers have high health. <clears throat> and he's probably got some brass knuckles. So yeah, we might be swinging. I think I'm just gonna, I think we're just gonna punch this one out. Oh, and he's got some grenades. Let's see, Let's see what kind of damage we do. Yeah, it's gonna be a slugfest here. Oof, all right. Go ahead and heal. Get me, should buy me some runway here. And whack away on this guy. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, we got a hunting rifle. Well, that's a fun. <clears throat> That's a fun little uh, surprise. Um, so hunting rifles actually. That's a. Ooh, this is this is a great rifle. Um, <laughs> you can't even get that in the store right now. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna equip it. Now I don't have the rifle skills, so I might not. Um, I might not be able to shoot the broadside of a barn with this, but um, I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see. Literally gonna give it a shot. And here's three snakes, so we're gonna need this hunting rifle. Let's see if we can actually hit something. Okay, we we can. Now probably not very consistently though. I'm I'm gonna imagine I'm gonna start missing. Here. Although this 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 rifle does have a 95% accuracy, um, it's actually a pretty badass rifle that uh, yeah I was not expecting to get so early. All right. Okay, and we're gonna level up here. Um, yeah, and here, here now you can see that I'm learning pistols because I'm a cowboy. I um, that that's that's what I'll what I'll learn first is pistols. I'll learn rifles later. Um, <clears throat> if I was a ranger class, I would learn rifles first. But um, but the cool thing is, eventually, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the throwing uh, pump my throwing skill, and then um, oh oopsie, this might be bad. Um, let's try it out. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the healer first. I, I, I know this guy over here is a healer. 
based on how he looks. The healers are gonna have the lowest health, um, and uh, it'll be who of me to take this guy out first. First, I'm gonna get kind of towards this cactus, so I might be able to hide. There we go. The healer is gonna start healing people, so you want to get him. You want to kill him first. Oh, and this guy, uh, that that scout there, just um, cast a spell. It's called Wall, and Wall is a um, Wall blocks physical damage, um, and there's another spell called Shield that blocks uh, just. See, he's healing himself. Um, but he'll run out of uh, energy, so he won't be able to heal forever. All right, so who who am I going to attack? I think I'm going to attack the scout here because the scout and the healer are going to have the least hit points, um, and they're going to be able to do damage from me or on me for at distance. So, the sooner I neutralize those guys, the better. Um, and now, yeah, they're basically healed back to where they were. Um, now, I think, let's see, if I move over here. I think I'm going to move over here and let them get closer to me. Play my game here. And I have a grenade, a couple grenades I'm going to used to whittle them down the cool thing about uh, rifles is it'll shoot through people in a line so if I could just get them into a line but you know what I'm getting them all to bunch up here which is gonna be nice for the grenades um, <clears throat> Oof, all right now they're in a line here let's see See, I could, I could heal right now, or I could take a shot at these two that are in a line that I might hit them both. Let's, let's cross our fingers. There we go. Okay, and, and this worked out. I got one turn to heal here. I might actually get through this alive. One left, and he's got me trapped, but it's okay. Ooh, I think I can, I think I can survive this. <clears throat> Might need to heal again. Got one last med kit. So after this battle, I'll definitely be going back to town. But after this battle, I, I might even level up. This is this was a there's a lot of enemies. Ooh, nice critical. Here we go. Hmm? Almost okay. Let's check my level. Um, looks like I'm level three. Okay, yeah, next level at. 525. See, I'm reading right, right above my, or right below my avatar. You can see um, the stats that I'm looking at right here. Um, okay, yeah, I need to, I need to get back to, back to town, and I'll show you. Oh, there's a chest. Um. So this is where you heal. Obviously, it's got the little red or the um, the cross sign. This is where I can heal my guy. Um, so 23 gold it'll take me. I got 155 gold. Easy. Let's do that. Okay. Now I'm gonna. This is the general store. <clears throat> you can buy and sell items here. So you look at the items that I can buy. You can see. Um, one, one item that I actually want to get really quickly here is moccasins because um, moccasins enable you to move uh, more than one hex at a time. Right now I can move one hex at a time and um, it's severely limiting. Um, I'm going to sell sell my brass knuckles. I'm not getting a whole lot for those, but um, I can sell this knife, get three gold for that. Meat, which I pulled off of uh, those snakes that I killed. Um, that'll, that'll give me a little, this power potion that is for testing purposes. I'm not going to mess with that because, um, I'm trying to play this game straight up. Um, so, uh, 
Ooh, what we want to buy. We definitely want to buy a few med kits. Let's buy three med kits. Okay, now I have 123 gold. Um, let's see. So, so I've got med kits. Um, I should buy some grenades. That's what I should buy. Um, those would be helpful. Five grenades. All right. Now I'm saving up some money because um, what I want to do is uh, I want to hire <clears throat> I want to hire a helper. Uh, somebody in here, um, maybe maybe Weinbod, um, since I have that. Uh, and then here's Doc over here. He's a he's a um, cowboy. Um, We've got Arnie here, who is a brawler. Let's see, he's a level four brawler. Comes with no equipment, but um, yeah, we might. I just need four hundred gold before I can hire him. Um, so here's um, here here's the bartender over here, and the bartender will give you quests too. Uh, so there's a patron that hasn't paid his tab in a while. Like you to remind him to pay up. Okay, I'll take the job. Brawler is his name. These are all just like stock names. We'll we'll have like actual names for these people. But um, yeah, there he is right there. Let's see if we can get a, get some money out of him. Nope. Okay, he's got grenades and. Let's see, let's see how grenades do against him. Grenades seem to work better than the rifle. Um, he's pretty fast. He's kind of closing in on me. I'm gonna back up here, give myself a few turns before he can actually punch me. Take his health down as much as I can. Um, let's give him a grenade. Alright, we should be able to take that. One more. Okay, we got a pistol. Alright, so now we go back to the bartender and he should close out this quest for me. Alright, I got some gold and we got to level up. That get a little experience too so um so what i want to do is probably just keep going with throwing because i don't want blades i don't care about blades i don't um get another job so you can do this infinitely there's you know as many jobs as you as you want to take um, this is a way for you to kind of farm experience <clears throat> and play the game at your own pace. And um, this enables us to to also uh, have a little bit more leeway and balance in the game. Um, because, uh, you know, that's the toughest part about, a, about these RPG games is, is getting the balance right. And this um, ability to kind of go at the game at your own pace, um, you know, if there's a point in the game which is just seems to be too hard, um, you can always just kind of farm experience until you can pass that level. Um, that's, you know, I guess that's 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 how we're doing it right now. Now, if I was able to move more than two hexes at a time, I'd be able to outrun this guy. But um, since I've got cowboy boots on, man, I need to heal. Uh, since my shoes are actually limiting my mobility, you see, I can only move one hex. Um, but if I was wearing moccasins, I'd probably be able to move two hexes. It's it's based on. Uh, it's based on some, uh, partly on your strength and the items that you have equipped, um, how far you can move.
but uh, the easy way to to improve that is to wear better shoes. Cowboy boots have more defense, but they're less mobility. Okay, all right, so. All right, so I got 248 gold. Um, I'm gonna go get myself some moccasins. What's the lucky ring? Luck 10. Um, nah, I don't have enough for it anyway. Um, I'm gonna heal myself. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and equip these moccasins. All right, let's see how that does for me. I'm gonna go out here. Oh. And you can see these uh, snakes, they regenerate. <clears throat> There's a guy over here that I kind of want to test myself against. Save. We got two. This guy seems to has the wall spell. Ooh, we're gonna take him out pretty quickly, though. Done. Seems like a cowboy. He's got a pistol. Um, now look at look at my range of movement. See, this is how I can reach out and touch him. See his his, his range of mo or his movement is uh or his his pistol doesn't shoot as far as my rifle so eventually I'll find an angle where he can hit me like I'm gonna go all the way up here there he is <laughs> all right let's see I'm gonna need to heal. And uh, we're coming up on 30 minutes for this recording. I'm actually going to do this in 30 minute blocks because I've learned in the past that uh, if you don't, um, sometimes you have video errors that, that, that and I lose a lot of work that way. So, um, so yeah, this is, this is going to, I'm going to break for uh, this recording and we're going to pick it up in uh, part two.